in the battered port of Mariupol, a last stand at the old steel plant. The military saying hundreds of civilians remain trapped inside. The Ukrainian commander pleading with the international community for help. Meanwhile, outside the plant, more desperation. Cut off by Russian forces for weeks, people here say they lack the basics to survive. How can we live without water, this woman says. It's horrible. The day after Makar's seventh birthday, he insisted his family visit their bombed-out Mariupol home for his annual birthday portrait. This is my house, thanks to the saviors in Russia for doing this, he says sarcastically. How do you make sense of this to a seven-year-old? I told him, don't worry, we will have a house better than this one, his mom says. In the east, the battle for Donbass rages on. This is more help is on the way for Ukraine. President Biden is expected to send more military aid, similar to the $800 million package announced last week, including heavy artillery, according to two U.S. officials. Ukrainians insist that military support is needed to stop atrocities like the horror in Bucha, where 33-year-old Marina Tanyuk was buried today. Her husband says she died from stress and starvation while sheltering in their basement, the only place they could hide from the Russian assault. Every day, her six-year-old son Vlad visited her makeshift grave in the family's backyard. But today, Vlad mourned at home. The reality of his mom's final resting spot, too much for him to bear. He tells us he remembers what happened to her and how Ukrainian soldiers saved them from the Russians. Ukraine is strong, he says. You're very strong. On Monday, Russian President Vladimir Putin awarded honorary titles to the brigade operating here in Bucha, praising them for their courage. Ukrainian officials allege that same brigade is responsible for war crimes, crimes that are being investigated. Hoda. All right, Aaron McLaughlin for us there in Bucha. Aaron, thank you. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.